Have you ever noticed or realized that when you walk into a room and people are laughing, it just, you know, it's good energy, there's positivity, and you walk into that room just like this, even if you didn't hear the joke, you don't know the context, you don't even know the people in the room, you kind of just feel the vibe, the energy. It's like, hi, I'm here. And the, the positivity is with you and you are with it and you feel good. And on the flip side, when you walk into a room and an argument had just ended, you can feel the tension in the air, right? Because we are very sensitive to our environment. That kind of, that kind of sixth sense instinct, we, we feel that, good, bad, and indifferent. I say all of that to say, that's why I choose to take a step back from the news and take a step back from social media and take a step back from like hip hop music and rap music and all of these things because I feel by and large, they're quite negative. They really take from my positive energy and my joy and my happiness when you're scrolling on Instagram and you hear about a fight or a car crash or this, that and the other. And it really, if you think about your, your positivity as like a tank, it takes from that. It takes from that and it takes from that. And I'm very, very aware of the fact that if you want to be healthy, they say, watch what you eat, right? And if you eat good food, then you are on the way to being healthy, you're living a healthy lifestyle. Not entirely, but it's part of it. In the same way, you are what you eat, they say. But what they should say is, you are what you consume. Consumption isn't just what you eat, it's what you listen to and what you see. And that's why I try my hardest to put myself in a positive sphere where, and I know it's not always possible, but I try to avoid certain things that I know take from my joy. So it's like when you listen to certain songs on the radio or on YouTube in general, their energy is like quite low vibration and low frequency and the foul language and the topics that they choose to talk about. And I'm not saying that I am trying to avoid the realities of the real world. I'm not trying to say that you should not watch the news because of whatever reason. I'm just saying protect your peace and really, really be mindful of the things that take from that. Really be mindful of the things that take away from what makes you you, what makes you happy. Because that's very important. Because if you're happy, you're able to pass that happiness on to your friends and your family. As always, stay blessed, avoid stress, and be the best version of yourself. Last question, what does it take? to make it. What does it take to make it? What does it take to be loved?